For this project, you'll need just a few things, such as beads, a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, and some embroidery thread or thin yarn to work with. For reference, I'm using this DMC embroidery floss here and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. All right, let's get started. The very first thing you want to do with your thread is to go ahead and attach beads onto it. So you can go ahead and pick any bead that would slip over the um, yarn or the thread easily. I'd like to make um, a bracelet with these beautiful little mermaid looking beads. So I'm going to go ahead and string those on. And by the way, you can turn this into a necklace, a bracelet, um, an anklet, anything you'd like. So here I've added 10 beads to my string. If you're going to make um, a project with a lot more beads, feel free to add more or you can add fewer. But I recommend adding um, more than what you need just to be safe because um, these beads, if you've added more than what you need at the end of the project, you can easily just slide them off and reuse what you didn't use for next time. So um, after you've done your um, stringing on the beads, you're going to go ahead and find the starting yarn tail of your project. And we're going to go and start off with a long yarn tail as the time strap of your project. So I'm going to have here maybe about 10 inches or so. I'm going to be making a necklace and I've decided I want to use a long yarn tail to tie most of it. Now you can always trim this for later, so it's um, a safer bet to have longer of a yarn tail than you need. All right, so I just wanted to show you this first piece I made. Um, this was more uh, suitable for jewelry because I used thinner yarn, embroidery thread actually, and small beads, but it was very hard to actually see this over the video because of how tiny the hook and the yarn was. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate with a thicker yarn and also a larger hook. This is just for um, showing you on the video, but I do say that for jewelry it would be um, more appealing to use thinner weight thread or yarn. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is start off with one long yarn tail to do the strap. So you can make it a long strap if you're doing it for a necklace or if you want a shorter strap and you just want to tie it um, at the end for a bracelet, you can do that too. I'm going to demonstrate um, with a longer yarn tail here. Um, so I'm going to, I want my necklace strap to be this long, so I'm going to leave that. And now what I'm going to do is do the foundation single crochet stitch. So I'm kind of pulling my beads down the yarn for now because I don't want it to be in the way. So let's start with the chainless foundation um, single crochet making my slip knot and here I'm going to chain two, insert my hook into the first chain, yarn over and loop through. That's two loops on my hook. Yarn over, go through the first loop. That makes your foundation. And now I'm going to make my single crochet by yarning over and going through both loops. Let's do that again. That was my first foundation single crochet stitch. For the second one, go into the foundation from the previous stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first loop to make your foundation, and then yarn over, pull through both loops to make your single crochet. So let's do it again. Insert into the foundation, yarn over, make your foundation, yarn over, make your single crochet. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep um, crocheting this stitch until your bracelet is, or necklace, excuse me, until your piece is the length that you want it to be. Now the only thing to make um, note of here is that you want to make sure your piece 
is a multiple of three stitches. Um, so I can make it 15 foundation single crochets long, or I can make it 30. Um, just make sure it's a multiple of three. Right. So here I've gone to 15 stitches and you can do any number as you as I mentioned earlier as long as it's a multiple of three. Just for example here um, I made this one with 30 stitches across and um, this one here I did it with 15 stitches across. So um, it really depends on how you want your piece to look. This one is a bracelet and I wanted to make sure the um, the main piece goes mostly around my wrist. So that's why it is this, um, it has this many stitches. But then I have this piece as a necklace and I wanted it to be shorter so that the um, kind of like the band of the necklace here, the chain uh, would be long and I can just have this as a focal point. All right, so what you're gonna do after you uh, finish your foundation single crochets is you're going to chain one and then, um, by the way, you have the option of chaining one or chaining two and I'll show you, let me pause for a moment. This one, these two are both chain two. So if you chain two, attach the bead and then chain two, you're going to have more of a pendant, like kind of um, a V shape to your um, bracelet here. And I'm just gonna chain one this time. I want the beads to stay close to the um, this single crochet part. So what I'm gonna do is now attach the bead. I pull it over and then I'm gonna have it as close to my hook as I can. Then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through a loop to secure my bead. Now I'm going to skip three, excuse me, skip two stitches. So I'm turning my piece here. I'm gonna skip two stitches and in the next stitch, the third one, I'm going to insert my hook and slip stitch. So again, I'm skipping two stitches here, inserting my hook into the third one for a slip stitch. I'm going to repeat this for um, the whole piece by going all the way across in the same way. So that's chain one, and I'm pulling a bead over. like so, keep it close to my hook, secure it by yarning over and pulling through for a chain. Then I'm going to skip two stitches and go into the third stitch. So going into the third stitch here with a slip stitch. All right, then I'm going to chain one Pull that bead over. Actually, you know what? This is gonna be, I'm only gonna have, with 15 stitches in multiples of three, I'm only gonna have five beads here. So I'm gonna make this middle one different. Instead of chain one, I'm going to chain two, make it longer. Pull this one over to the middle. Close it with a chain, then chain two more. I want to make sure it's balanced. Skip two stitches and slip stitch into the third stitch. All right, and I'm gonna go back to just chaining one, insert or pull over a bead. I'm going to secure the bead with a chain. Chain one, skip two stitches and slip stitch into the next. Chain one, pull bead over, secure the bead, chain again, and skip two stitches going into the third stitch. Oops. 
Oh, that's fidgety. Sorry. Um, there we go. All right. So as you can see here, I've got um, my beads on this piece. These two, uh, these four actually are closer to the piece. And I did this one with a chain two instead of chain one. So chain two on both sides. And as you can see, it hangs lower. So you can go ahead and attach the beads however you want. You can either keep them close to your piece or you can have them hanging lower. If you want to kind of switch it up and alternate between them, you are welcome to do that as well. I'm going to show you this one again here. And as you can see, um, the little V shapes are prominent with the chains. So you'll see that it has more of that gap in between if you do two chains instead of one. So up to you as to how you want your piece to look. Next, um, we're going to go ahead and now work back to the other side because as you see, here is our starting yarn tail on this end, but we want to make a yarn tail come out of this end so that we can tie it together like a necklace or a bracelet. So I'm going to find um, this top stitch up here and just slip stitch through. And what I'm gonna do is basically work slip stitches in each of the stitches up. Oops, let me show that better. I'm going to work a slip stitch in each of the stitches up here on the top edge and work all the way back to the other side. So I'm going into um, under these stitches for a slip stitch, like so. And working across. All right, when you reach the end, you'll notice that you are now coming out from the other side. So you're gonna go ahead and pull a long yarn tail there. Make sure it's long enough so that it matches the other end and then you're gonna cut and fasten off. And then you'll have a lovely piece with beads. And again, you can go ahead and decorate it however you want with different yarn colors. You can use different beads and you can use different um, numbers of chains to make it either closer to the piece or farther from the piece. So, hope this tutorial was helpful and happy crocheting. Bye now.